And now, TSPN News with Tom Slivig. Comprehensive news because in today's world, you need more than just sound bites. TSPN streaming on the World Wide Web and now on demand at TSPNTV.com. Hi everyone, Tom Slavik, and today I'm with Mike Daly, City Manager of Jackson, and uh, we've got some information coming your way, and I think that's where we want to start off, right? Yeah, absolutely. The, the EPA is, uh, it's got quite a project here. Yes, they in the do. Jackson area. The United States Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, uh, they've been doing uh, a lot of work, a lot of testing, and actually soil removal and remediation up related to the um, old Argonaut mine. And which is now mainly down on along Argonaut Lane and then down off of Hoffman, that big open area uh, between um, Hoffman and the homes and then from Argonaut Lane all the way down to uh, the dam that is still in place. You can see down back there. Do we have a picture up yet? Uh, no, there, that's kind of the entire property that's okay. up right now. And that shows the area. Um, what's up right now is an area on Argonaut Lane that they uh, removed a significant amount of the contaminated soil that you could see it was turning the rocks all orange and brown and black. Uh, that was from the arsenic. And they removed all those rocks, all that soil, and put it on the, the bigger portion of the property and then covered the old area with fresh dirt. So that area is no longer uh, a hazard, so to speak, of water running off of it. When, when did they do that work? That was right. done in March. Okay. Um, and they uh, removed, uh, this years ago, uh, across from this high school uh -huh. in that uh, in that field up there that I guess is just uphill from there. Right? It is, yeah. And you can see where it's vacant now and, and really nothing grows on it. Um, and that's a lot to do with the, the soil condition. But that's been their main disposal site. And what they do is they bring it there and they cover it with fresh dirt and uh, and then put the the ground cover on top of that and it's it's uh, you know really quite a bit different than the way it was but that was a significant project it took them a couple weeks in March uh, they did it during the school break week to minimize the inconvenience to was, was, high school was that uh, uh, moved there because of the tests from testing that was done from testing uh, the the arsenic readings that they had there we're way over what are considered Why don't safe we, limits. Well, I, I kind of cut to the chase a little bit yeah. there at, uh, towards the end, but what brought the EPA up and um, uh, put them to be concerned about this contamination? Mm, at, that at that site has been uh, on the radar for quite a while. Sure. The State Department of Toxic Substances Control had done some preliminary testing out there uh, in their discussions with EPA that uh, generated their interest in coming out. And they have since been very active doing testing, not just on this one piece of property there on Argonaut Lane and Pioneer Street, but also on the properties that are adjacent to the old Argonaut Mine tailings area uh, on Dita Lane, on Buena Vista. And they're going to be doing some remediation on those residential lots uh, where they found some high readings of, of arsenic as well as the other work that they've been doing. So. The tests have uh, been pretty expensive and pretty thorough. They've done a significant amount of testing, which is, does require a lot of, of cost. And fortunately, they've been able to uh, pay for all of this with, with their EPA funding to be able to do it, both the, the testing and the soil remediation and removal work and bringing in the fresh dirt, too. So Now, is, this, uh, is that a super fun project? It's not. Super fun yet, um, but they are trying to get super fun money in order to do some work down on the dam that I mentioned. The dam is down by the intersection of Argonaut Drive and Sutter Street, just above the junior high school, kind of a little bit, uh, I guess, northwest of that. And you can, you can see it from the roadway. It's been there for 99 years and has, uh, I think it's like 400, 500 thousand uh, cubic yards or some, you know, some behind huge it. number, 160 million cubic yards, I think, behind it of tailings that does contain a lot of slimy arsenic did the, material. Originally, did the, uh, did the um, tailings have uh, slimy stuff 
in it, or is that just from uh, rains that get hold, just, hold, hold behind? Just from the rain the and, well? and the the, the uh, groundwater that seeps okay. down below. Up on top, it's dry, and uh, there's vegetation up there. But uh, down below, you know, I think they tested down to like 20 feet, uh, is a slimy material that contains a lot of water in it. And they're concerned that if this 99-year-old dam that has lots of cracks and, and other signs of structural deficiencies gives way, that that material could just shoot down Sutter Street, down onto the highway, and all the way downtown. So uh, they're looking at trying to get this facility qualified for Superfund money that they could then do structural repairs to to now, prevent that from happening. Has this has this uh, been happening? The testing uh, kind of below the radar for for people. I haven't heard well, a lot, they, you a know, lot they, about this. But. It, They've certainly been very visible out there. Uh, they've been constructing a, a roadway off of Hoffman to get down to that area, off of, you know one of the gates that goes onto the property. The whole they had to close Argonaut Lane for the project they did in March for a week, and um, I'm sure that you know some of this other work that they're going to be doing soon is very visible too. You can see it off of Argonaut Lane where they're doing all the all the the material storage. Um, they're planning to do a, a big public meeting. Okay. Here uh, next Tuesday on August 18th, it'll be at the Jackson Civic Center starting at 630. So anybody that has any curiosity about what they've been doing and, and concerns about the arsenic or, or what have you, um, next Tuesday at 630, Jackson Civic Center, they'll okay. be there. Okay. They've probably yeah. been talking to, talking to you. They've been talking to you in the oh, yeah. Jackson they, they, well? They've okay. been very communicative and, and very good about working with us. To make sure that we're able to, that's why I'm here today. We're, you know, we're, we're, so, I'm, I'm a little curious. What yeah. do they? How do they intend to uh, take care of that? I mean, what, what is it that? What do they think the they'll, structural they'll work do? that would be done? Yeah. It, it'd probably be a lot of. Um, are uh, they gonna, just going to dam it up again, or are they going to take the? Uh, do a take lot. The material of, take a lot behind? of rebar. You know, the the metal bars and reinforce into it. I'm not sure exactly what it would be. Okay. In fact, that's probably part of the, the work that needs to be done is the investigation and recommendations for what the best thing to, to do would be. One of the ideas was just trying to remove it all, but uh, taking out 160,000 cubic feet or whatever is a lot of, of truckloads. It would truck be probably more expensive. There's probably so. not anybody that wants that? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Could be some gold in there, though. I, I think the... I th I think there was some uh, uh, gold in the in the uh, in the tailings that were taken across from the high school. Not a lot, but yeah. enough with a new process to be able to get could have uh, been yeah. ha have some removed. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, Mike, how much uh, how much money have they spent there so far? As if they've I believe that the number that they're up to is close to four million dollars. Um, uh, and this is EPA money. It, you know, no city funds that they have, have spent so far. That they've spent so far. Oh my gosh! On just the the testing and the removal and 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 all of the the labor that's been involved with and and the engineering studies that have been done to look at the dam, to look at the other soils. Uh, it's it's expensive work, and and they're up here when they come up here. They're working six days a week, you know, to try to minimize the amount of time that they have to have people in this area. Um, because a lot of them are out of their EPA offices down in San Francisco. Uh, but hmm. they have also hired local contractors to help with the work, which has, you know, been beneficial to, to the local economy. But, um, you know, it's, it's definitely... Okay, a, if, a if, it's, uh, if there were like uh, four million in testing, how, how much do they uh, think that they might have to spend in mitigating it or, uh, well, the, or containing they, it? Well, they, they anticipate that, that the dam work would be a four to six million dollar project, the retrofitting, okay. including the engineering and everything that would have to be involved. So they're trying to get it qualified on the national priorities list to hmm. be able to to do that uh, as a Superfund site. So uh, whether or not If there isn't monies from the Superfund yeah. site, uh, does the EPA have uh, monies in other buckets? Not that much money. Uh, you know, they, they've been, you know, they've invested quite a bit already. But you know, mm -hmm. try to try to get that much money together. I, I'm not sure if they would or not. So that's that's their decision making and in terms of priorities. This, of course, is not the only toxic site they're dealing with in California or in in their region. This, you know, which includes uh, Arizona and Nevada and right. and I think and, uh, going I, up I, the coast a little I bit. I guess too. Colorado. So uh, maybe Colorado too. Yeah. So. Okay. So this is like sure. looking at probably looking. Are, uh, 
I guess maybe they're talking to you. Are they looking at the old mining sites and tailings? And uh, is, is that... It's uh, really, you know this area them? because I think it's around a residential area. Okay. Um, has has them more concerned? More concerned, yeah. So, and they've been very good about sending information out to everybody that lives in the area. Like the notice about the meeting coming up on Tuesday has been um, sent out to a pretty big mailing list that they have. There's a copy of the uh, announcement on our website as well that people can look at. So, yeah. Okay, I don't want to confuse any issues uh, here at all, but, uh -huh. uh, you know, the Argonauts, not too far from the Kennedy, does the, 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 is there any spillover concern or anything like that about uh, Kennedy? No, not that? really. I think because there's been a lot of uh, the, the soil testing out there, and the numbers are just not as, as not significant for that. as what they have for the Argonaut. So, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, that's... That's very interesting. Tuesday, yeah. and that's going to be uh, Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. at the, at the Civic Center. And right. uh, EPA, they'll, they'll probably have a They'll have, a be there. They'll have, they'll have a good slideshow showing all the work that they've been doing and uh, hmm. everything that they have uh, upcoming. And, you know, be available to answer questions. So we have about uh, 30 seconds left. So they have completed the, the testing phase or uh, they've done, pretty much wrapped it up? They've pretty much or? completed the, the arsenic testing around the Argonaut area. So now it's there into the remediation work. And with that, would they would uh, go back and then uh, with that work start to do the engineering or they have uh, started to spend money on the engineering as well? They've started to do some of that on the on the dam work. And, and now it's just really kind of the, the removing the bad soil and bringing in fresh soil on some of these other properties. Okay. We're going to take a break, and we'll, when we come back, we'll see if there's anything uh, we haven't covered on that. And if uh, not, we're going to go on to the city of Jackson. So uh, stay with us right here on TSPN. <laughs> 